YouTube channel so you should totally go check that out. I've been in the fashion industry for a little over six years now uh, in San Francisco just moved back and right now I want to really just express to all the like, girls out there just how important it is to look fabulous and to do it on a budget and to really empower yourself with a lot of self-love. I've been through my own body journey of self-acceptance. You don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. I try to make it fun. I taste Oreos in my closet and do a lot of beauty <laughs> stuff. Well I'm glad so. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. So today Today, Laura is gonna help me come up with a birthday makeup for my yeah. birthday outfit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, booty shot. So I got this amazing jumper. And really I can't is. wait to wear this. Put it on, it's just like a dress but you have the added comfort of the legs and you don't chafe. It's one piece. Exactly. <laughs> one piece. And you're done. I'm gonna go put some face on right now mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna come back and she's gonna put some makeup on me. Yay! So I put my face on, <laughs> and this is what I use. Got this a couple months ago from one of my friends who sells it. I will put her link in the description so you can find where to get it. I'm gonna let you take over. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll do like a little concealer. It's like under the eyes just to brighten a little bit. Hopefully your eyes is shade. I'm from <laughs> I was like, yeah, light is good. I'm light as light as light can get. Exactly, <laughs> that's all I'm like, very well. I was like, perfect. We're just gonna go under the eyes. Okay, so we have a little bit of a concealer on. I'm gonna even put some of this concealer on our... <laughs> oh, I know, it's like such a difference. It's so blind. We're gonna put also the concealer on our eye as like an eyeshadow base. Kind of like a primer. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna go in um, to the shadows. I think we're just gonna get right to it. Look at this box, you guys. We're gonna do a little bit smokier look just to go with the outfit. The first thing we wanna do, we're gonna start to play with your crease. What's great about her eyes is when they're open, they've got a lot of lid space, similar to mine. We're very gifted that way. So any shadow that you play with and that you pop in that inner corner is just gonna make the eye pop and look a little bit bigger. Whereas if you have a more coated eye, you don't see a lot of that lid space and a smokier eye is definitely your go-to look, but you don't wanna play with the crease, you just wanna go all over with a dark shadow. We're gonna go a little bit darker in the crease first and then I'm gonna put some concealer over we're gonna do kind of like a you know ombre yeah I didn't know all this yeah. <laughs> I so, many things. so I'm gonna go in with this shade it's called starry night it's a very intense blue grab a little bit of that shadow and then you always want to top off the excess and now we're gonna go in the corner here there's one eye <laughs> yeah look at that I can't see anything okay so that's the look there we've got our um, darker shadows laid down you want to make sure it's even on both sides and then back and forth windshield wiper motions just make sure it's completely blended oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at you you got the touch. touch I think we're gonna grab this like darker shade it's called silhouette I'm just gonna pop the outer outer corner um, just for a little more definition and then what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna lay it down just a little bit more color. Like we're going really fun with this, so I'm gonna add a little bit more purple, um, just for fun. Just still playing with that crease. With makeup, there are no rules these days, so you can mix colors, you can go with the drama, you can really go crazy. And we're adding some gold, we're adding some purple, we're gonna add some blue, so we're really having fun with it, we're really going for it. Don't be afraid to extend that shadow like a little bit out. We're gonna naturally do like that kind of cat eye shape, so I'm bringing the shadow out in a little more of a V. So we're gonna take our concealer and we're gonna put that all over. This is kind of called like a halo eye. It just helps to create that definition. I'm using the very infamous Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is probably, I think, the number one concealer in the US. I really like the formula because it is so thick. A little goes a long way here. You blend it out. It is a cult classic for a reason. You can get it only at Ulta. It's an Ulta exclusive. I've been wondering how to make this halo look. It just helps to carve out the crease a little bit more. Any shadow you lay on top of it just goes on really more intensely. You really can see the difference. Like, the definition is a little bit um, stronger and more intense. Ooh. Now we get to go in with a little bit more of the shimmers and we just kind of define that eye a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with this shade Bronze Casting. We'll go the other one. So we're getting that bronziness, that smokiness. I'm gonna do the metal work in the outer corner. 
Oh yeah, that's looking fabulous. That's fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you that's like so it. fun. I want to bring more of that purple in. Maybe I'll use my finger and just press this in to the inner corner. I like to add a little extra definition. So I think going in with like this pearl earring in the inner corner of the lid will just like pop the eye a little bit more. And then you can bring it up into the third of the lid as well. And I like the coppery metal because it really goes with that outfit. And right. then like the darker that's blue is just a fun dark to use. We're just gonna go back in with that blue brush that we started with just to blend it all out. The key to when you're doing a smoky eye like this is to blend, 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 and you wanna make it look really natural like a watercolor. Soft windshield wiper motions. Okay, that looks amazing. So a good trick of the trade too is what comes up must come down, so bring it to the lower portion of your lid as well. Except when you're ready for this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm gonna use just the same colors like that Starry Night. I'm gonna mix them a little bit in that Silhouette, so those were those deeper blue colors that we used. And we're gonna just smoke it out underneath. And then we're gonna bring some of that purple now in there, stained glass, just to the inner version of the lid. And then we're just gonna go with that coppery color. We're just gonna add that a little bit all over. That's what that looks like there. Now we will just use a little bit of liner. My favorite is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. She is an animal lover, cruelty free. None of her products um, are tested on animals, which is amazing. All right, so we're gonna draw this on. My helpful tip for whenever you're doing a liner, I start with the end first. And you don't wanna pull at your lid or do anything crazy because when you let go of your lid, you're gonna get a weird line. And Leave your lid as is, just gently place, and then draw out your extension, and then connect it, and then go into the inner portion of the eye. Just like follow your natural eye lines. Right where your lashes are, just keep extending the line. You definitely wanna make sure each side is even, so open the eye. Mascara is probably the next step. So my favorite mascara is the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara. In particular is vegan. Um, they have a list on their website of all products that are vegan. This is also paraben free as well. I love the brush. It's longer at the edges and then goes in. So it really hugs all of your eyelashes and grabs them. I didn't bring my lash curler. Here's my little. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love it. It's purple. I know. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> I didn't pick it out by the way. Yeah. Right, so we're just gonna open the eye here. We're just gonna go in, wiggle the lashes. What? <laughs> <laughs> And then we're gonna wipe away just a powder brush, just all this different shadow. There is a little bit that collected. Um, so we're just gonna go across the cheeks and just wipe that away. Great, so you don't have any weird blue shadow on your cheek or anything. Um, so we're just gonna go in with some blush now. I'm just using the Tarte Blush. It's a 12 hour formula, so it wears really well on your skin all day. This is the shade Parte. Very appropriate for the occasion. This is kind of a nice like peachy pink. So again, tap off your brush and then we'll just put a little on the apples of the cheeks. From the palette, um, we are gonna dip in. There was these fabulous bronzers here. I like this one because it is so glittery and gold. I like to use my bronzer as a contour. You definitely don't have to use a bronzer and a contour. I think there's, that's kind of a misconception out there. Pick whatever formula you like and then use it to find that cheekbone, that forehead. And you're like me, we have round faces and they're, they're gorgeous. We just wanna lengthen and kind of shape them. So find that jawbone. So take in your mouth right where that line is, we're gonna just chisel in that product there. Post your lips together. See, there's exactly, we're just gonna draw along the lines that you very well. You're just gonna draw along that line there, perfect. Fabulous. We're gonna just go along the forehead as well. Now, this is um, another brand I love. This is actually from Walmart. Flower Beauty, this is a line by Drew Barrymore. This highlight palette I think I got for about $12. It has three different shades in it. The pigmentation is amazing. You get that glow with like one swipe. I think for you, we're gonna go in for a little bit more of this golden shade. And I like to use my fingers for highlight. It's a little bit more precise. This is your magical V here. Huh? Magical V. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> the other magical V. So right above the brow bone and the high point of your cheekbone. And we'll even pop a little bit onto the center of your eye um, just to draw it in. You can even put it a little bit down the nose. So now I love a good bold lip. One of my other things I'm very obsessed with is this Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palette. You, <laughs> and then you open it up and it's like an array of lipsticks. Oh so you can mix gosh. and match and you can kind of create your perfect lipstick. <laughs> so I think for your look, we're gonna do, this purple I think is a little bit more sheer of a purple. So you can always mix it with a little bit of this brown to tone it down. So we'll just pop this baby on. We've created this kind of like pinky nude. Oh, I love that color. I'm so glad. <laughs> 
I always finish up with this facial spray um, from Mario Badesco. He is also cruelty free. I got this at Ulta. This is a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. It's really nice to kind of set your face, make sure your makeup lasts all night. So we're just gonna lightly mist over the face so we get everything set. Oh my brother, so close your eye. I know, right? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. There you go. Woo! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So look at this! <laughs> oh, you know what you look fabulous! It looks so good. So this has Yay. been our video. I'm so excited. Thank you so Me much too. for doing this with me. This of is so course. fun. And I can't wait to share this with everybody. So I'm going to put everything, all of that what we use, if you like this look, I'm going to put it in the description below. Follow the Pink Cadillac on YouTube and on you. your Instagram. I'm going to put the links down there so you can follow her. If you like That Vegan Wife, please follow her, like this video. <laughs> if you're not already, subscribe to her channel because it's awesome and you're going to learn so many fun things. Well, this She's the best. Bye. Bye.